Hey everyone, this is Ryan with Yacht World, and I'm here with Dave at Marine Max Boston. We're about to hop on board this Azimut 55 Fly. Dave? Yeah, so this boat, uh, Ryan, this is a new 2019 55 Flybridge, and uh, excited to take you guys on board. Cool, let's do it. Over there on the starboard side, you'll notice there's a door, guys. That's going to be for your crew quarters. Full head, AC and heat, of course. Hydraulic swim platform will hold up to 800 pounds. Certainly put an uh, inflatable uh, Williams jet tender uh, or jet ski on that. Moving into the cockpit, you'll notice the boat uh, is equipped with full teak all the way up the gunnels, cockpit, and of course the uh, swim platform. Uh, this boat has the uh, beautiful synthetic marble tables. Very durable, also very beautiful. So this whole system here, this whole door opens up. This will swing out to me. And then we do have a motorized window here that will slide down. So that's gonna open up your whole salon galley into your cockpit, giving you great entertaining purposes uh, all on one level here. Moving into the main salon here. As soon as you walk in, uh, Asma does a great job. They put their uh, panel here with all your switches, very accessible. Below here, you're gonna have all of your satellite TV, KVH, as well as an ice maker. On the port side, you'll see that's where our galley's gonna be laid out. So we do have a full-size refrigerator. Lots of storage above head, all melee appliances, sink, and a lot of counter space here. Again, great use, storage everywhere in the boat. As we move up into the upper salon here, you'll see on the port side, we've got a great U-shaped seating here. Nice big table. On the starboard side behind me, you'll see there's another couch. And behind the couch, of course, is a hideaway TV. As we move forward, you'll notice uh, our lower, there's two stations, our lower station, and then another station will take you up to on the flybridge. Uh, the lower station is really beautifully appointed. Um, you can look at uh, all your flush mounted electronics, Ray Marine, uh, everything's where it's supposed to be. Uh, controls, joysticks, stern thrusters, uh, bow thrusters. This boat is equipped with 800 mans. It does have a joystick control, both bow and stern thrusters. Uh, this boat does have a gyro stabilizer on it. Uh, we equip every azimuth that we stock with the gyro stabilizer. Certainly a game changer, and azimuth was one of the first to, uh, to do the gyro, as well as hull side windows. You've got great visibility, and also on the starboard side, you'll notice this window does lower, so when you're docking, you can talk to uh, crew. Everywhere you look on the boat, you'll notice more detail. Um, you know, things like all of their china. Everything is all branded azimuth. Table bases, big stainless steel table bases. And now we'll take you downstairs to the staterooms. So we're going to go aft. The master stateroom is going to be down here uh, to our port side, and of course it's going to be a full, uh, full beam master. So here we are in the master stateroom. Uh, again, Azimut started the first ones to do hull side windows, and they continue to, uh, to, to lead the, uh, the industry. You can look at these two big hull side windows. Both portholes do open, so you can get airflow in here. You won't see that on a lot of boats. Um, so you've got a full-size berth here, another, another azimuth tray that they do is great, is storage. So great use of storage. Again, you won't find this on a lot of boats. As you come around here, you'll see there's a mirror in, uh, in behind you guys, and that's on the opposite side of the berth. And behind that mirror is a uh, flat screen TV. And below it is your Bose soundbar. So very, very sleek. It doesn't look like there's any storage here, but again, what they do a good job with is concealing their closet space, nice big hanging closet. You've got a safe inside of the closet. Same idea over here. Nice big storage. Big deep drawers. So 
So as we move out of the master stateroom, they've concealed a washer and dryer. And then I'm gonna, let I'm gonna shut myself out and I'm gonna show you guys, uh, you can go in here and look at the master uh, head. Again, very nicely appointed, full shower, <clears throat> just like the rest of the boat. Um, so as we come forward here, this is a three stateroom, two head boat. I'll take you into the day guest head first. Again, full separate shower. And then we'll take you inside here. So this is starboard side. This is gonna be your starboard guest. Obviously you've got two bunks. Beautiful lighting in this room. Again, you've got an opening hall side window for some natural light. Flat screen TV, another Bose sound bar. And again, nice big closet inside of here. Now we're in the bow of the boat. Again, full size berth, nice hall side windows. They do open, same idea, big, big closets. Storage. See another closet behind me here. And this is a huge feature because you look at how much storage you get underneath that berth. That typically is, is dead, dead area on most other boats. So as we go up to the bridge, you'll notice the integrated stairs, uh, nice grab rail here. So even if you're, uh, if you're in any kind of rough seas, uh, very easy to get to and from the bridge. So let's go up to the bridge. So here we are in the bridge of the 55 fly. Uh, you'll notice beautiful hard top. Uh, the lines on this boat are gorgeous. Uh, nothing looks out of place. Um, you'll notice the big sunroof above us. This is manual, uh, so it does open up and it's an actually usable sunroof unlike some others that may have glass uh, with a very small sunroof. So, um, Here on the bridge, uh, starting port side behind the helm, uh, we do have an electric grill along with the freshwater sink. And below there, we're gonna have another refrigerator so any entertaining you want to do up here, you're not going uh, down and uh, up from the galley down the stairs. So here at the, uh, we're at the upper helm. So now we're port side. Uh, so nice idea where if you, if you dock starboard side, you can dock from the lower station. Port side, you can dock from here. You can look over uh, and you can look down the stairs and see, uh, see most of your angles on a boat, uh, which is pretty rare of a boat this size. Again, joystick control. Uh, you have your single lever controls, bow and stern thruster, and again, nicely appointed helm here. Uh, everything's flush mounted. Uh, it's where it's supposed to be. Um, so this is a, another beautiful helm. You'll notice our sea keeper control here. So you do have another sea keeper. The covers are on now, guys, but you'll notice that we have uh, a, a big seating area here. Um, and then that continues back to a U-shaped seating with again, another synthetic marble table here, which you can see how beautiful these tables are. Very durable, but also very beautiful. And so this is a great area where you could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Two great features. One is of course, all the area you get for entertaining back here. Two couches, dinette here, or excuse me, a table here. Uh, and below us, this is also acting as a sunshade. So we're standing on top of the cockpit right now, and this is gonna give you all that shade downstairs uh, when you're entertaining in the cockpit area. So um, for a 55 foot boat, I, I, I bet you won't find a, a bigger bridge uh, than this boat. So um, again, we're on the 2019 55 azimuth fly. Uh, my name's Dave Barodinelli with Marine Max Boston, and certainly visit us at marinemax.com. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you. Thanks for joining us on this Azimuth 55 fly. This is Ryan with Yacht World here at Marine Max in Boston. We'll see you next time.